It's late August of 2023 and we're back in Durango to catch a working mixed train on the Durango and Silverton. This modern Silverton mix was run as part of the pre-convention activities for the 43rd annual narrow gauge convention being held in Denver this year. We depart Durango right on time at 7.30 in the morning, which on the modern Durango and Silverton is the departure slot for the long gone San Juan Express, which was ran from the early 1980s through the early 2000s. We follow the train up the valley from Durango to Rockwood. After catching it crossing Main Avenue, we jump ahead to Oxbow Park located alongside Animus View Drive. Deep in the Hermosa Valley, we're still in shadows as we're at the Riverbend Ranch just north of Home Ranch Siding. Just before Hermosa, the train crosses the county road while the Hermosa cliffs, carved by glaciers, loom above. Climbing the 2.5% grade Hermosa Hill, the 473 steams up the hill towards Rockwood.
At Rockwood, we hop aboard and head into the canyon. Just past Rockwood, we're perched on the cliff of the famed Horseshoe Curve. Back on the train, we'll stay on board as we make our way to Silverton. We're going to stay on board from here to Silverton as we are less than 45 minutes ahead of train, two, of train 461, the first Silverton train, which is running behind us behind K36 number 482. We've pulled into Silverton, turned on the Y, and backed into the traditional loading area at the corner of 12th and Blair. 
Conductor Nick Batello is performing the requisite brake check before we make our way back to Durango. And then train 461 makes its appearance into Silverton. After train 461 backs to the Y, we're treated to the arrival of train 463, led by the 480. After the crowds have dispersed, we're off southbound and quickly slink out of town. Just south of Silverton, we stop at Elk Park for the first afternoon run by.
Today, when we see a mixed train along these rails, it's for the sole benefit of the photographers. Normally, these photo trains keep their consists intact during the entire run. But today, we'll set out two of the flat cars at Elk Park on the way back to Durango. These flats are lo loaded with ties for a replacement project near there. Conductor Nick is seen here along with Brakeman Travis setting out the cars on the south leg of the Y. Weather in the Rockies can change in the, on a dime in the Silvery San Juans, and today is no exception. We're treated to some much needed rain this afternoon as we coast through Needleton. We stop for one more run by at Goblin Fire, where the Needle Mountains pierce the sky.
we'll leave the mixed train here as we head back for points afar. Thank you for joining us aboard the Silverton Mixed. He's also the man with all the answers. Few passengers can ask questions about the Silverton that'll stump the conductor. I'm looking for an answer that'll stump the conductor. Oh, an answer that'll stump the conductor. Well, you know, not too many people have questions that can stump the conductor. What would stump this conductor? Obviously, this question is this what This is a question. What question stumps the conductor is the question that stumps the conductor. It is. It is a. That, is it oxymoronic or self-serving? Round and around and around. Uh, make sure you click like and subscribe. Check out one of these other videos up here. And, uh, yeah, do it for Zephyr, huh? Say hi to the people, Zephyr. They love you, huh? Yeah? Can you say hi? No? Okay. <laughs>